oily, sweaty bedhead. How to fix this. Uh, finally, I'm putting this into one tutorial because I get asked constantly. I have a couple blow drying ones with some information, but we are going to make this to the point for you. I got the oily hair. I'm out to get more of the sweaty hair. For sure, bedhead, mm, I can do better, but I can still teach you. Let's roll this out. When you have oily, sweaty, and bedhead hair, how do we fix this is huge. So I got my workout on, I've got the oily, this is day four hair actually for me, which is not a thing for me really. But there are key things that you can be doing to your hair that's gonna change the longevity of it. And it is not that you put dry shampoo on the day that it's already oily, it's taking care of it in the before. But I wanna take care of you today and show you and teach you ways that you're gonna be able to fix bedhead, ways that you're gonna be able to get out the door with sweaty hair. I mean, if you have time to wash it, by all means. But a lot of times, especially if you live my lifestyle, you gotta go from thing to thing to thing. And then the oily hair, do we wanna wash our hair every day? Some people do because they say they can't stand the smell. But if you're able to take care of that with like a dry shampoo, you can take care of that as well. So I'm gonna help you on how to fix oily hair, but first we're gonna dive into this key thing. Okay, my friend taught me about the partial hair wash. Have you heard of that? It's where you take the part of your hair that's the oily part, and it's normally this front, or maybe the back if you sweat back there, but it's a partial hair wash. And I Googled this, and I looked this up. She showed me how she did it for hers, but I wanted to see if this is like a thing. So if you've ever heard of a partial hair wash, put it in the comments below. If you've ever tried a partial hair wash, put it in the comments below and tell me what you thought of it. Did it work for you? We're gonna try it today. We're going to experiment with the partial hair wash. This is nothing, this part, the partial hair wash part, I'm not familiar with. You and I are exploring this today. So, but let's dive in first to the sweaty hair because that's what I got right now taken care of. We're gonna dive into the sweaty hair and what you can do to combat that. You're gonna need a blow dryer, a hairbrush, your favorite dry shampoo, and a texture spray, a salt and sea spray texture spray. Your number one thing with your oily hair is to make sure on the day you wash your hair, you're putting in your dry shampoo. On the second day before, or before you go to bed, put in a little dry shampoo and try and stay ahead of the oils. So today for the sweaty hair, I'm gonna walk you through what I do. So I'm gonna take it out and just kind of run my fingers through it and assess what is going on. Then I'm gonna take my dry shampoo, get it shook up, and I am going to spray it in and this is with having sweaty hair still you can try i'm always somebody that likes to experiment so try using the um, blow dryer first and then this and then try using this first in the blow dryer and see which one you like better for your hair type okay then i'm gonna come all the way through the whole entire hair and then i'm going to just run my fingers through my hair after it has had time to sit a little bit and just work it in the hair really well. Then I'm gonna take my, this thing, my blow dryer for my sweaty hair and blow dry my hair. You don't want it on too high of heat. So don't put it on the highest heat setting, but you can get it on the blow drying part and then you're gonna blow dry it up and it's gonna dry that hair. You work it all the way through until you don't have the wet hair anymore. Cause this, your sweaty hair is actually adding um, its own type of salt and sea-ish to it. And you're breaking up all of that wetness. After you do that, let's brush it out. 
Start at the ends first and work your way up. Get the underneath. And then if you need to go in and add a little bit more of dry shampoo in the front, you can, or wherever it is. See, and that right there already loosened that up a lot. Okay, you can, another thing that you can experiment with depending on your hair type is adding in a little of the salt and sea spray. So it's already sweaty, so you really shouldn't have to, but depending on the texture of your hair, if you wanna add the salt and sea spray, you're gonna add it before you blow dry. Yes, it's when it's a little bit wet, but it's gonna help separate it out and kind of add in more of that texture, especially to me if you have that fine hair. Now, I'm gonna show you what you can do for bed head. All right, so you had a good night's rest and you wake up and you just didn't wanna wash your hair that day, but lo and behold, what happened? Bedhead has hit you and ruined your morning? No, my friend, no, my friend. Nope, we're not gonna let that happen. So what we're gonna use is the salt and sea spray. We're going to use a brush, preferably a round brush for this part because it is on the crown. And we are going to use a blow dryer and some water. So first things first is I'm gonna get the water and we're going to get that part wet. So I'm just gonna come through here and get it all the way wet. Next, I'm gonna take my salt and sea spray and I'm going to spray the area. Not too many sprays. Okay, then I'm going to use this brush and I will incorporate a round brush as well. Now I'm gonna blow dry creating volume to try and I'm gonna move the brush around a lot in order to get the um, movement in the hair to get rid of that part. You can turn your hair upside down. And then I'm going to add And that my friend is going to get your bed head taken care of and you're good to go. Now, you ready for the next? Let's do this. Okay, you ready for this? I don't know if I am. I could either be made to look like an idiot right now, or this can be a great thing. So where I show my greasy hair the most is in the back right here and in the front, but since I know after this, I'm actually pulling my hair up, I'm just gonna do the front and do the partial hair wash. So first of all, from what my friend said and what um, the, inter the internets told me, is you're going to part off your hair. And that, it's usually like right in here that people are oily because that's where you touch. I mean, granted, there's oils from there, but that's like not shown. And then right here, I don't look oily at all. So, I mean, I know I am, but this is what you do in a hurry. So they're telling me that this takes about five minutes and you can get this taken care of. Now, I haven't ever seen people go all the way down to the sides. I just, because again, they hide. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just do that front part right there. All right, moment of truth. So this is where we get messy. All right, moment of truth. Okay. Here's my question. If you can't even see what the heck you're doing to rinse it, how, how are you gonna get all the shampoo out? If you're somebody that's watching this and you've done this before, feel free to tell me an easier way in the comment section. Cause like I said, we're experimenting. I'm bringing it to you fresh. Oh wow, nice mirror. And I wanna see where I'm getting it because I don't trust the process. Why am I yelling? I'm right here. <laughs> why, why am I yelling? That's because I'm nervous. 
One, I'm nervous of looking like an idiot. Two, I'm nervous this isn't gonna work. Three, I have no faith in trusting this process, especially when it comes to rinsing. Okay. But they say this takes five minutes, so let's see if they're right. Dude, if this works, I am 41 years old almost. I will be like, wait, I went all these years without doing that? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, so I'm not putting conditioner in it. I'm just taking care of it with what I put in my hair before I blow dry. And it will take good care of my hair. So I have a blow drying video that's already out so you can see all the products that I use in my hair before. So that's a heat protector. That's a detangler plus a like a UV protectant and all of that. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's do this. <laughs> Dude, if this seriously works, I'm dead. I am dead. Oh my gosh. I think it worked. Because I was worried it was going to feel like there's product because I wasn't going to get it rinsed out well enough. It now the rest of my hair looks greasy because, well, I did need to wash my whole head today. For video's sake, I didn't. What the heck? Let me, I just need to fix how I blow dried it. I just told Mitch, my life is forever changed. I mean, on the days that I am that in a hurry that I cannot wash my whole head of hair, it's clean and there's no oiliness to it. And cause some days, like if I pull this back, this still looks oily. Oh, I'm dead. It worked perfectly. Okay, well, now we know. Now we know. So like I said, I would have washed my whole entire head today, but I didn't for the sake of this video. And I am always gonna do that from ever on. Like even on day two hair, cause sometimes on day two hair, I don't wanna wash my hair cause I don't wanna wash it every day, but it looks oily in the front. That was probably less than five minutes. Honestly, if I wouldn't have been talking to you, that was so cool. So recapping this, I went over oily hair in general. Your number one tip with oily hair is to put dry shampoo in your hair the day you blow dry it before and before you go to bed, okay? Not before you blow dry it, but the day you blow dry it, after your hair is um, done, dry or blow dried, put dry shampoo in it. Let it cool off, cool down, but put dry shampoo in it. The next thing is that the, before you go to bed, put dry shampoo in it. That's gonna help the oil so that they just can't get in there good. Then we talked about sweaty hair. So with sweaty hair, take your sweat and work with it with you to have your own um, salt and sea spray. Um, and then, so you're going to spray in a dry shampoo, move your hair all over while it's blow drying. I want you to test out if you like to blow dry first, then put in dry shampoo, or if you like to dry shampoo before you blow dry, test that one out. So for your bed head, you're gonna go in, wet your hair down with water, add some salt and sea spray to it, brush it all over while you blow dry, and that's gonna help your bed head. And then of course, the partial hair wash. I'm smitten, I'm set, I did not think it was gonna work out. I've mocked my friend forever for doing it, and now I know, I definitely say you need to make sure you get it rinsed out good, but on those days that you don't have time for the whole thing, you are set. I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to this channel for more. I appreciate you so much. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.